kind of live in the middle of nowhere. We live in the woods. We um, had no power for two years. So we now have power. We don't have water and we don't have a septic. So all that is a lot of work in the back of our brains constantly because everything needs to come from somewhere and needs to go somewhere safe. It's a lot so. of work required if you want to make this work. And it's the things that I learn and it's the things that I wish I knew or somebody would have told me. Homesteading is a lifestyle and it has nothing to do for you know exactly where you live. It no. doesn't matter if your toilet flushes the same way. It doesn't matter if the water comes out of the same faucet. It doesn't matter, you know, if you if you have power the second that you move in. I guess what I'm trying to say is stop idealizing this thing that once you move out of the city, your problems are gonna go away. They they felt so overwhelmed that they ended up selling everything for pennies. Now, I feel like with uh, how the world is right now, people are more looking into alternative lifestyles, maybe moving to the country, starting a homestead, trying to be self-sufficient or as much as they can or we can. And I think that I was very much inspired by other channels when we decided to move here. Not necessarily homesteading channels. That wasn't really what I was following. I was more about trying to escape the rat race, but I had no idea what was in store for me. But once I started to watch those channels when I was here in your or maybe a few months before we moved and I started to find all these homesteading channels and farms and everything, I was very inspired by what they were trying to portray in their videos. And I think that's amazing because it really op opened your eyes to see that there's more out there that you know it's you know the world is not as little as the town that you live in or the city that you live in or even the country that you live in different states and different places have a completely different culture and that's kind of the idea that you get with a lot of these channels including people that are uh, trying to homestead in the middle of a city i being put to the test lately because i turned 40 last November and you know when you are my age you probably think that you have you know so much time ahead of you and you know for the most part most people would but your physical abilities as the years pass kind of start to change and despite not finding that change in myself in particular what I've noticed is that after the accident I was left with a bunch of different things and after some medical procedures that really left me in a state where I started to understand more older people that are trying to homestead or maybe people with disabilities who are not a hundred percent aware of how much work it goes into creating a homestead, into sustaining a homestead, into running a homestead, into living in the country or living a more simple lifestyle. Living a simple lifestyle, it's really what it is. It's simplicity. But with simplicity comes a lot of um, hard work. Because you, um, you know, you may have solar power and you may not be connected to the grid but being able to sustain that power constantly and to supply all your needs it's a full-time job i mean you have to be constantly thinking about everything that you plug into your wall everything that you plug into those solar panels and the list goes on with water with propane with heating with cooling whatever the case may be those things that are taken for granted in maybe the most you know, the cheapest of the apartments that you can find in the city, it really becomes a full-time task for those that are looking for a more simple lifestyle. So, as most of you know, before Christmas, we had a really bad car accident, and despite, you know, it could have been something a lot worse, we still are left with a lot of repercussions from that accident, a lot of physical repercussions that really 
for the most part are not going to change our lives forever like nobody is gonna stay in a wheelchair or anything like that but it kind of shows you the limitations that you are starting to feel on yourself when things are starting to not work the way that you're used to and I think this will come with age too you could be you know 40 years old right now 20 years old but eventually you're gonna be 60 and things are going to start to progress and change it's not like okay you feel like you're 20 for 40 years and then all of a sudden oh my goodness I am 60 years old you know what I mean it's just one of those things that it will come with time hopefully you know you'll start to adjust to those changes little by little but if you are in a situation where you have a disability or where you have some physical struggles uh, homesteading is portrayed in a way that it will fix that and it may help you mental wise but there are a lot of things that you should keep in mind and I guess my point in this video is despite I don't have that big audience that those channels have I want to share or you know my thoughts and my experience in the hopes that if anybody out there is watching this video and maybe are wondering if they're physically able to do this well maybe they can take a uh, make a more informed decision on what is going to be best for them and don't take me wrong i'm not saying that people with disabilities or older people with physical uh, problems shouldn't homestead i'm saying that you have to prepare yourself for being active for being more physically active and at the same time understanding your limitations at the time of picking what animals you're gonna have in your homestead what kind of garden Garden you're gonna have and adjust those things depending on your specific needs and make it more um, I don't know if easier but make it in a way that it's gonna work for you and that you will be physically able to do it yourself or have a system for somebody to help you in case that you can't do it for a day for instance this morning I just felt awful I went through I don't want to go into details but you know I had this medicine that is still in me and it was giving me a super bad allergic reaction now this was about a week ago and still today I am still feeling all the effects and this morning I woke up with no energy my body was aching it was heavy I couldn't move and I really couldn't get to the barn until 10 in the morning and if you have your goats outside and if they have hay you shouldn't I mean it's not a big deal if you feed them their grain or their pellets later but if you have them inside like I do just understanding that I did not have the physical ability to get out the door and come to the back and open that door was really what prompted this idea and this video that I want to share with you. And maybe you're in a position where you're super healthy and you're super young and you know you are running your homestead 100% the way that you wanted and then something changes of course that's going to be something that you know it's 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 unexpected it's something that could happen in life no matter where you live in the city or the country but understanding that there are ways where you can make things simple for you and simple um, as far as having methods having ways having systems it's really what is going to make the difference as far as how successful you're gonna be without your homestead or your farm if you are sick or if you have if you have some kind of disability and just feeling like you can't do it and you have to go back wherever you came from despite the fact that a lot of these channels share how moving from the city to the country can change your life and can make it better and can make it simpler and to me i wouldn't have it any other way i mean i was physically okay in the city but i was dying inside because i was not doing what was fulfilling me so despite the the fact that things are harder every single day here i am happy 
and I am where I'm supposed to be. I feel that way, my family feels that way, and it's a great feeling to know that you don't really have to adapt to the norms, you don't have to want what everyone else wants, but you just have to find what makes you happy and kind of follow through um, a plan and how you're gonna get there because you can always dream, but if you don't really put your dreams to work, that's where they're gonna stay. They're gonna stay for you when you go to bed and hopefully you have a dream that you are living, that dream life that you are thinking about all day long. So should you homestead if you are an older person maybe, and maybe with a lot of physical limitations? I would say you can. And you know, if money is not a problem, there's machinery, you can always hire somebody to help you, and you can always do a lot of things that is gonna make it easier for you. But if you're starting over, if you're just taking the time to move, sell everything, and start over somewhere else, just keep in mind that starting with good systems, like if you're having back problems, do tall garden beds. If you can really work with a big animal, then get miniature goats um, if you think that you know they're gonna be stepping on you and maybe you're gonna trip and fall maybe just have two or three like there are ways that you can homestead even when you have some physical impediments or when you are limited physically or even if you have a disability but you have to understand that moving yourself from one place to the next is not going to make your problems disappear. It's not going to be a start over in every single sense of the, the word. It's just really going to move yourself physically somewhere else where you're gonna have to deal with the same problems either physically or if you're struggling inside and try to make it better by changing what you do every single day because I know that what I did in the city every single day has nothing to do with what I do here every single day. So that change is really what is going to make it into your new lifestyle. So I think what I'm trying to say is, yes, homesteading is awesome. But if you have a homestead, and I would love for you to comment down below, if you do have a homestead, just do you feel like it, it requires a lot of you? Like it, it requires physically you to be there? Does it require your, you know, does it really take over your mind what you're doing the next day, what you're doing that day, what you're doing in the next six months, what you want, uh, the end goal for your homestead? Is it really that hands off we're just moving from one place to the next and we're just moving on? Or is it really, I mean, I can only speak for myself when I say this. Um, and you guys, most of you guys know our story. We bought over two acres of raw land. We are surrounded by woods and um, we have a river and we have a lot of natural resources, but um, it's, you know, we are still living in the woods. We're still living in, you know, apart from a city. We're still feeling here, despite having neighbors, we still feel like we are secluded, we are away. So there are a lot more things that we need to do for ourselves and more physical requirements um, because we don't have the money to hire somebody to do it for us. And I don't think that even if I had the money, I'd do that. I think that part of homesteading is you being in your homestead, hands-on, taking care of the stuff that needs to be taken care of, and really understanding that this is a lifestyle change and it's not a house move. That's completely different. Move, house moving is from one place to another in the same city or around the same city. It's just stop. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is stop idealizing this thing that once you move out of the city, your problems are gonna go away. Uh, you're gonna be doing the same things, but you're gonna be happier. No, if you want to homestead, you're changing that life for a different kind of work. And if you enjoy it, like I do, you're gonna love this lifestyle. But if you have a lot of physical impediments, I want you to know that um, 
there's going to have to be a lot of thought behind of everything that you're going to get because I do know a family that did that. They moved to the country. They got rabbits, they got chickens, they got ducks, they had goats, they even had a cow and then they felt so overwhelmed that they ended up selling everything for pennies and coming back to what they thought they needed, which, which was the city. A better pay, um, you know, a lot more of the easier automatic stuff that we're used to when you live somewhere that is not as primitive, maybe as we are living right now. And, you know, it's even if you move to the city to a um, country home, and you want a homestead, it doesn't matter if your toilet flushes the same way, it doesn't matter if the water comes out of the same faucet, it doesn't matter, you know, if you if you have power the second that you move in. Homesteading is a lifestyle and it has nothing to do for you know exactly where you live. So I hope that with this video I was able to clarify a few things, kind of get it off my chest because again, I think that part of sharing everything on my channel as small as it is it's the the most important part of me sharing this is the journey and it's the things that i learn and it's the things that i wish i knew or somebody would have told me from the beginning and to be honest with you i did not have any homesteading friends at the time like i said i started watching before i moved to here i wanted a, a lifestyle change I wasn't really looking for homesteading but then when I found all those channels I found this fairy tale that for the most part it is for me but there's a lot of work behind it and it's a lot of work required if you want to make this work so if you have a homestead please let me know what you think um, do you think that you know, do you agree with me or do you feel like not really there's not a lot more that you're doing right now compared to what you used to do where you lived before if you live in the city or if you live somewhere more suburban let me know in the comments down below because again we kind of live in the middle of nowhere we live in the woods we um had no power for two years and we now have power we don't have water and we don't have a septic so all that is a lot of work in the back of our brains constantly because everything needs to come from somewhere and needs to go somewhere safe so you know it's not only the basics of homesteading but maybe for us it's a little bit harder because of those things so thanks again for watching if you're new here please remember to subscribe i'm gonna get going i'm gonna get started with all the chores for today i'll talk to you guys next time